We're the seniors of Track Time, and you're watching the Senior Doc. Will you take my hand? department been? They've been pretty fun, uh, especially like this year. The past four years have been awesome, made a lot of good friends, and made a lot of good memories. Good. The music department was always somewhere like I've been comfortable and like I've always had fun around the people versus like any other class. Like, I've always just been comfortable here. They've been really self-reflective and eye-opening and been really memorable. I've enjoyed my time here and I'm glad I joined the music department when I did. The last four years in the music department has been a big impact in my life. Even though I wasn't a part of marching band, technically, I learned a lot and it's been great. Um, I would say at times they can be really stressful, but it's enjoyable overall. I've really enjoyed making new friends, lifelong friends, so. Do you have any good memories, and if so, what are they? Um, I think my favorite memory was when uh, Levine like fell off the chair laughing because Joaquin didn't know how to play a kazoo. One of my favorite memories is definitely when, you know, somebody who uh, kind of graduated a while ago, you know, poured apple juice into my mouth, and I, uh, I kind of, uh, kind of threw it up all over somebody. And, and it was a huge mess on the the, uh, the bleachers. Yeah, um, I loved singing at the Christmas tree lighting ceremony, and then we went to Waynesburg. Yeah, being on the band with Mr. Ritters would have been one of my favorite memories here at Washington. We were in the music room, and Joaquin shows Mr. Levine his English project that he had done the morning prior. And it was so bad that Mr. Levine had to sit on a chair, his face just bright red, and he knocked his water bottle over, just laughing hysterically. Uh, every single parade day, those have been the best ones. Guys, we are in Star Wars. Star Wars. Do you plan on doing anything music related in the future? <sighs> Following my idol, Bryce Stevenson, who was a previous graduate from here, now he's in the Blue Band, Center Snare for Blue Band. Go Blue Band, baby! I would like to, but the school I'm going to doesn't offer any music. Yeah, I plan on going to college for vocal performance. Yeah, I'm going to try to major uh, for music performance in college. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. <laughs> I will probably do like a pep band at Millersville um, or just some sort of like smaller ensemble. What is one thing you'll take away from these past four years? Um, probably some confidence. There's a lot of pieces where you have to play on your own and know your part, so it built confidence. Just being in band, uh, you get real closer to a lot of people and you make new friendships along the way and they're pretty cool. 
like accountability. We're not required to practice, but you should, and so you'll improve and like actually sound good. One thing I'll take away is all the friendships and people involved in this. This is another way in school community. Um, definitely my like practice ethic and like worth that ethic because I mean without like these past four years I definitely learned a lot and it just has kind of teach me to be where I am now. Probably the friendships that I've made. I've made a lot of great friends and like I can't even describe how the friendships are in the music department. one word to describe your last year in the music department, what would it be and why? Practice. Because that's what I spent all my time doing these past four years. Enjoyable because, I don't know, I feel like this year, out of all the years I've been in, I've made a lot more friends than I did the past year and a lot more memories that I have. So I would say enjoyable. I'm going to say goofy. Why goofy? Because this, I've been in a goofy mood this whole year, honestly. <laughs> I've been in a goofy mood. I'd say interesting. There's been a lot of weird, like with COVID and everything, we had to like do, especially last year, we had to do a lot of weird things. But honestly, this year has been a lot better and I've had a lot more fun, so. It's been wonderful, you know? Got a lot of friends, got to meet everybody here, got a lot of good people going on, you know? All right. Exciting. I feel like I'm finally really making friends and I, you know, that's important. I feel like I have a, I've had a lot of opportunities to make friends, but this year has really, like I've actually made friends and I think that's really cool. It's been pretty awesome because last year it was a lot different with all the COVID stuff and this year it's been kind of going back to where it used to be. So it's been great. Hi, drive time. Ooh. Can I do a Prince Charles? Yeah. Oh, brother. Yeah, you look, you, Ethan look good. Ethan, you look like a snake. You're not recording that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? Nothing. <laughs> Mr. Hoffman. All right. Mrs. Kite. Mrs. Dickey. Mr. Hoffman. Um. <laughs> Mr. Brett. Oh, Mr. Brett. Mr. Brett. Um, I would relive my last high school volleyball game. Same. That was what I was gonna say. Stepping on the court the last time with the girls. Mm -hmm. I would relive a um, home game against James. Yep. Yeah, I would uh, relive winning our conference championship. Mm -hmm. When Cole Ryan scored a thousand points, our bat, our basketball game, yep, our volleyball game against <laughs> Green Castle. <laughs> um, I'd say I'm just gonna miss everyone as like a whole and seeing people in the hallways that even if I never talk to them, just seeing them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say my mom. Anna Hoffman. Um, I would say this 
to the girls. Yeah, it's um, one thing I wish we did was a powder puff game. I wish I participated in the all school production. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I wish we had a dance team. <laughs> I wish we could have painted our parking squads. I thought that homecoming was more fun. Only because our prom experience is a lot different than okay. like the other prom except for our junior yeah. prom. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Senior prom last year, it was like really fun. So I hope that this prom this year is fun. Yeah. But like, I Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to say, like the planning the prom, I thought was really fun because oh, we were all on executive fun. council. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Well, Ashley had the toughest job, but like, it was fun for the rest of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I like, did not like prom dresses better than homecoming. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I like homecoming for the look. Yes. Yeah.
Now I go? Yeah. I don't know who these people are. I'm kind of scared. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get out of here. Please help me. Wait, is this okay to eat? Yeah. yeah. It's really coming to get your hair. Just Ready? go. Just go. I'm excited to be on him coming court. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> that was so nice. nice. <laughs> What instrument does Michael play? Clarinet. <laughs> How many sports has Jasmine played? Two. She's actually right. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super excited to be on homecoming court and see everyone all dressed up on Saturday. It's an honor to be selected for the football team and to represent the guys that play for us. <laughs> What kind of pet does Emily have? She doesn't have a dog. It's either a cat or no pet. Um, no pet. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is Jared's baseball number? Um, no, not a fling, not a fling. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We are here 
talk to you about the 2021 Homecoming Queen. And now we recognize our 2021 Homecoming Queen. all the girls I ran with so it would have been amazing if any of them won. We're really happy for you Jasmine. Thank you! I'm here with Maddie and who on prom court do you think is most likely to die in a horror movie first? Alexa. <laughs> I'm here with Garrett Beaver. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to forget their oh, own birthday? <laughs> I feel like Lou. I'm gonna say Lou. I'm here with Anna. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to marry their high school sweetheart? Maddie Stumble. <laughs> I'm here with Louie. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to have the most children? Ryan. Ryan. I'm here with Alexis Portman. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to become famous? Anna. <laughs> I'm here with Ryan. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to talk in their sleep? Louis <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Jaden. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to become a millionaire? Um, uh, Anna. I'm here with Addison. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to have a really messy room? Joaquin. <laughs> I'm here with Joaquin. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to become a vegetarian? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Sierra. I'm here with Claire Canudis. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to become a politician? Addison Gladfelter. <laughs> I'm here with Connor. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to break the world record? Um, probably Joaquin, honestly. <laughs> I'm here with Sierra. Who on prom court do you think is most likely to go to space? Addison Gladfelter. <laughs> Monkey on a tree! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Justin Julius right here. Uh, he's just a good friend, to be honest with you. <laughs> 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 
Nice.
can to come to this. If you had something, if I had something like this when I was your age, I don't know what I'd have done. So I am putting the bleach on. It's different than highlights. It was more of a free form kind of thing. It's not super like regimented. So I can just kind of put it on however I see fit. Um, and so the teachers will kind of give us a demo. Like this morning, um, we were fortunate enough to have somebody come in and they showed us how to do a balayage and then they just kind of let us um, work on that and then they'll grade it when we're done and tell us what we need to do differently or you know, give us pointers or whatever. <laughs> peanut butter. She's actually a special needs cat, so she wobbles when she walks and she loves to be held on <laughs> And she, from her her, she needs to eat a special food because she has urinary problems. And you came to me like a bird uh, after this, I plan on going to uh, BFI, which is the Barber Institute in Camp Hill. Get all my hours. 
license and then eventually get that license. I plan to go straight into the workforce. I'm going to try and find a salon and then after a little while I'm going to try and um, pursue special effects makeup for babies and stuff. I plan to go to uh, Steel College in Greenfield, PA. It's a four-year program to do business administration and work full time. I plan on going to work okay. maybe in a vehicle detailing shop. I'm not really as interested in doing this every day as I was before. IT and cybersecurity. plan to uh, go to Central Green College and study IT. I'm uh, not sure about college. Maybe UTI. They keep texting me and asking me about stuff. It's a technical school for automotive. Shippensburg University. Okay, and how long are you gonna be there? Is that a four-year program? Four years, yeah. I'm going just for biology. I might do pre-vet if I want to, but for right now it's just a biology major. After high school, I do want to go and like get a job right out of tech, and then I want to hopefully later on go back to college and get like a degree for my health science, so I can have more like do more stuff. Cause for some odd reason I'm Let's take a look at this year's Senior Superlatives.
have, get the team. I got a vision for the things you ain't believe. And here's the motto, hard work this over everything. Huh. It's that comeback. I'm calling plays, hit the past, then the run back. Yeah, I'm far ahead and got a run last. But we ain't letting up, we never done that. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I be on the way. This group is how we always have last minute plans that make the best memories. I love that we're all spontaneous and always down to hang out and just do fun things together. I love that I know we're going to be friends forever, lifelong friends. Um, I love that we've grown up together because we were all like 10 years old. So. I love that I convinced these three to try out for cheer and it made us grow closer. We all have school together and we even work together. I'm going to Shippensburg University in the fall and I'm majoring in sociology and secondary education. I will also be attending Shippensburg and I'm majoring in communications to be a social media manager. I'm attending Thomas Jefferson University and I will be majoring in fashion merchandising and management. I'm going to College of Charleston and I'm majoring in psychology. I'm going to Appalachian State University and I don't have a major yet. <laughs> I'm still deciding where I'm going and I'm majoring in business. Our favorite thing about prom is the before getting ready, hanging out as a group together and just spending those memories together before. <laughs> what will you guys miss most about high school? Not being together. Slowing down to hold my hand Richer than a hundred grand You're worth every second I could spend future holds but we'll always have our songs and you'll always have a person to call home eyes are locked together wanna throw away the key no this moment's not forever but we could be
It's evident that this level to the game All of those dark nights I got then Breaking my back to make it out Got me feeling like pain I ain't never need your help I know you wishing me well A penny for your thoughts But seeing no change I snap for the sun like Diddy The riches got a mad ass son I'm like Billy I ain't never switch up Whole team with me Putting on for my city like OAGZ Set the pace as long as you finish Consumers find a way inside your business Babble if they try to dabble in it And they hate the fact that they may have to witness You trying to aim for the top like this And you're in your element with a fire like this And they hoping you fall and they praying you miss But it's all in the risk I got you with the switch, you know I'm in the zone Give me the throne One shot, that's all that you got That's all that I know Foot on the gas 155 on the road You can be a friend of me, an enemy Keep that same old energy Cause I know I'm a
Ritter. Ritter. I'm going Ms. Ritter. Mr. Chris Ritter. <laughs> Christopher Ritter. Critter. Mr. Ritter. Ritter. Favorite high school memory was on the band bus, me and Joaquin would listen to Donda on the way to football games. And one, there was one time where um, he started dancing on the back of the bus, and these, this car behind us was like jamming and like also <laughs> dancing also, so that was fun. <laughs> there was one game where it was raining a lot, so we had to just sit in the buses, and we got like, and we were all riled up for the game, but we couldn't go play, so we had to just sit in the back of the buses, and we were like punching each other, and that was really funny. <laughs> I accidentally punched Grace in the face, and I thought she was gonna kill me. <laughs> That's also my favorite memory. I hit Aiden really hard. <laughs> I like when I give all the saxophones uh, the big pack of mustaches, and literally every saxophone had the mustaches, and we all took a picture with it. And then I also like me. I also wait, uh, like waiting in the three-hour line for Rise of the Resistance at Disney. That was the story of like the under the bridge story, but I wasn't. Oh my gosh! I wasn't even there for that. I just heard the story. <laughs> My favorite memory was probably when when me and Mason were messing around at the football game and and he he I gave him my giant thing of apple juice and he like poured it in my mouth and I was just chugging it and I you know I, my reflexes made me throw it up on autumn shoes. There's a video. There's a video. There's a video. Oh okay. I guess mine is the trip to Disney. That was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. So my favorite memory was definitely singing "Sleep" at the spring concert last year. Favorite memory, it's kind of hard to choose, but I'd have to say um, my sophomore year, just hanging out with all the seniors and experiencing all the like weird things that they did. <laughs> memory probably is on the Disney trip. Whenever one night we were trying to run around at like, I don't know, when was it nine? Trying to find Kayla uh, supper <laughs> at the resort, and then we found out that our neighbor was collecting spoons from the resort. <laughs> My favorite memory is the, the Disney, the room we stayed in, it smelled like, oh, it smelled like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite memory was the band Disney trip. It was very fun. I'm happy we got to have one, especially since we were supposed to go to Boston a couple years ago. And I was very fortunate, even though we didn't have our class trip, we still got to go on a trip somewhere. <laughs> the bridge incident. Yes. <laughs> Brian poopy pants. Not Brian poopy pants, Ryan poopy hands. Poopy hands. Poopy hands. Poopy hands. Right. That's it. That's it. Ryan poopy hands. I wish I started playing different instruments sooner. So I started playing mm. at like an alternate instrument my senior year, but I wish I would have started learning more instruments as a younger person so I could have been more talented. That's what I, yeah, I wish I had the bassoon and I really wish I learned <laughs> that. I did not steal the bassoon. No, I did I did not. I wish I had practiced ever. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry, Mr. Yeah. Ritter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never practiced, so yeah, I wish I practiced more too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I went on the Disney trip. I really <laughs> Actually, no, I take that back. I regret not getting a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Walking in a big I regret not being more involved. I feel like I didn't do a lot when I was here. I wish I would have auditioned for Chamber sooner, and I wish I would have gotten to go to Carnegie. Okay. I wish that I would have came out of my shell more, and also have gone to Carnegie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I wish I would have done more other than just choir, I guess, and practice my Audition sooner for chamber choir. Yeah, I wish I would have practiced a little bit. <laughs> just, a, just a little. I definitely wish I was involved more. I uh, played soccer in the fall and never did marching band or did much. But yeah, I kind of wish I did more. I'm <laughs> great. I'm glad. I'm glad. Pasta bar. I don't need that. Is it's so good. Well, pasta bar last year was oh. so different than pasta bar this year. So I would say pasta bar from last year. Mm -hmm. I year. I used to try to eat lunch so fast that I would crush up a bag of chips and then I would put mayonnaise and barbecue sauce in it and I would eat it like in a... <laughs> and, and that's all I would eat and I, that was probably my favorite. And I would steal mustard packets and put them in my friends', in my friends backpacks and I would hide them around their houses. Ah. French toast sticks or the Uncrustable sandwiches. They need to bring those oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with Aiden 100%. I, Mine is chicken day. One day I overstuffed myself so much on chicken I threw up and it looked like cookies. You threw up all the time. <laughs> Prom. Definitely. I, Homecoming. Yeah, they were. 
Oh yeah, the last homecoming was fun. Yeah, yeah last homecoming. Uh, all of, okay, they were all okay. I'm not a dance person. Don't fit me. Right. I liked prom. I'd have to slow dance with Trina. <laughs> I'd have to say prom too. <laughs> prom was just fun. That's it. Yeah. Be here at my shoulder Be here in my side Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here in the autumn When all the colors call Be the burning memory of all the summers gone. Be here every morning. Be the calm I feel. Be the beauty I behold All the days I'm here Be here to remind me Of all the goodness I've known Be the heart that holds on tight Don't let me let it go And I hope you never doubt it That I am here to stay To give you all my love for all my days Be here by the fire Be here in my arms Even when the embers die, we'll keep shining on. Be here at my shoulder, be here at my side. Be here when the cold night falls, and in the morning. Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here at my shoulder Be here in my side Happy graduation class of 2022. You did it. Yes, these four years haven't been easy, but your determination, your perseverance, your courage, and your strength have brought you to this moment, your moment. Enjoy all of it and celebrate all of the things that you have overcome. It has been a true joy to experience these past four years with you. And I cannot wait to see where your journeys unfold and how you go out and change the world. Way to go, class of 2022. Hello, class of 2022. Congratulations on this great achievement of graduating from high school. I wish you all the best. It was a pleasure working with you and your families over your first three years of high school. You guys are going to do a great job after high school. Just hang in there, focus on doing the right thing, and never give up. 
Hey, graduating seniors, Mrs. Brookins at Fairview here. And Mrs. Jones at Fairview here. We just want to give you some pieces of advice. Just do your best in everything. And be true to yourself. Always be you. Good luck. Good luck. Hello, class of 2022. Um, I had many of you when you were in eighth grade for English. I've had some of you from the dance studio, um, and some of you I know just from living in the community of Waynesboro. So when I was asked to provide my best advice for you, uh, one thing immediately came to mind, which is that please accept that it is okay not to know what you want to do with your life. And it's okay to change your mind even if you do know what exactly what you want to do with your life. Okay to adjust paths and change courses. It does not mean that you're a failure. It means that you're a human and that things are gonna change as you go. And I am so excited for you. Congratulations on making it this far. Congratulations, congratulations on your graduation. Your class is going to do wonderful things in the world. Hey graduates, this is Mr. Smith from Fairview Elementary. I just wanted to first say congratulations on graduating and I was asked to give a little bit of advice to you as you move forward into this bigger world. So I have three short pieces of advice to offer you. Number one, listen more than you speak. You are going to learn a whole lot more that way and then whenever you do have something to say, people will be more likely to listen to you. Number two, learn from your mistakes. You're going to make them. You might as well grow from them while you do it. And number three, don't overlook the little things. It is the little things in life that make the biggest difference. It could just be a smile. It could be asking somebody how their day was and actually listening to their reply. It could be something like picking up litter or helping a younger sibling with homework. It could be something as simple as writing a letter of appreciation. Those kind of things are the things that make the biggest differences in the world, and they're the littlest things. So don't overlook the little things. Good luck in your future. I know you guys are all gonna do awesome. Hello from Hooverville. Congratulations on your upcoming graduation. We are so proud of you. Best of luck in the future, and always remember, you are small but mighty. To the class of 2022, I'd like to thank all the officers and amazing reps. It's been fun to work with you. And I appreciate all the freshmen who helped me move three years ago into my room. I'll never forget that. And most importantly, just remember to make the most of whatever experiences that you have in life at the Carpe Diem. Congratulations, class of 2022. We're also very proud of you. You are going to do wonderful things with your lives. You're going to go out and, and do amazing things. You're going to see things that you've never seen before. High school was just, you know, a blip on the radar for you. So I wish you best wishes, and we're all super excited to see what you're going to accomplish in your lives. Congratulations, everyone. We're proud of your efforts, and we wish you nothing but the best as you move forward. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2022. We're very proud of you. You have a huge future ahead of you. High school is only one small step in that future. Good luck. Guys, we made it. I've enjoyed working with you guys so much. I'm so proud of you all, and I just can't wait to see what you all do in the future. Class of 2022, you did make it, and you made it under some crazy circumstances, too. It's been an honor and a true blessing to have you all here with us the last four years. Congratulations. And, of course, I have to give a special shout-out to my nephew, Kelton. You are going to be missed tremendously, especially at the B-Level office after school. Good luck, everybody. Hello, Class of 2022. This is a hard one for me because I have known you guys a really long time. Um, for some of you, we started out at some of you together when you were in third grade. And we slowly walked up the street and got to the middle school. And that is where we picked up the rest of you in the class of 2022 and made our way to the high school together. But um, here is where I leave you. Um, my 
advice for you as you go out into the world is this. Um, and a lot of people may say this to you, but from my own life experience, I feel like it's very true. Fight for what you want. And when things get hard and you feel like you've been kicked in the gut, run with it. And that's where you're going to learn your biggest lessons. Enjoy all your successes because they'll be easy. The hard things are worth fighting for and where you're going to learn the most. Um, and please always remember that um, even though we're parting ways after a really long time, I am always here and you always have a friend here at Washes with me. Love you all. It's the coldest hand that run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd But their hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards Atlantis sea Crowd with me. Never lost among the crowd with me.